this is part two of the AC Delco jack stand. Zoom into the top with the Z key. We're going to resume our sketch here. We're going to start out with some center line geometry. This is a symmetric part, so we're going to mirror one side when we're done drawing half of it. Right now I'm starting off by drawing the general shape of our part. <clears throat> I'm currently in the line command. But if you notice here, if you go back to your starting point and pull off of that, it'll automatically switch to an arch. So I'm going to resume here, drawing the general shape of our part. I'm going to use this arch command again, arc command again. We're going to end up deleting that towards the end of the video. So now that I have the general shape in there, I'm going to start adding some dimensions control selecting these two center points to make them concentric here's a nice little shortcut you've got the dimension key selected with D if you hold down shift while selecting that circle it automatically snap to the outside so you don't have to go in there and change that I'm gonna do it again up here as you can see I select towards the top of the circle with the shift key held down just a simple way and that's the way I made my measurements so it's a simple way to add that dimension in there Again, I'm saying in the Smart Dimension command that I have preset as the D key. And as you'll notice as we add dimensions to the various parts, it starts taking a shape that we expect it to have. And here's where we're going to end up deleting that circle because it caused some unsolvable geometry. We'll end up just drawing that circle back here in, in a few minutes. So all these dimensions I'm adding in are dimensions I took before we got started. Here, rather than adding a dimension, we just added a constraint or a relation. Do remember that you do not have to add dimensions to everything to fully define a sketch. You can also use your relations. So here we're just going to draw a circle in. We know that that circle runs through vertically. And we also know it goes to the center of that circle. As you can see, the circle is now fully defined using mainly relations. <laughs> Here I started out selecting each line, but then remember you can just right click and choose select chain and it'll grab all that sketch for you. Then I hit the M key for mirror, tab three times, and select your center line. And then just go ahead and extrude this geometry. Now it's one inches wide. We're going to do it from the mid plane so the part stays symmetric. Selected contours, and exit out of there. That's part two of probably four.